So I'd like to welcome Mary Jo Milbrandt to the Hardwood Creek Library. Mary Jo has agreed to be our artist in residence on the day of our open house for our Hardwood Creek Community Art Show. And she'll be doing a half an hour demonstration of her watercolor painting. So maybe we can get some of you inspired not only by her works, but by the works that we'll have on show here. So how did you get into watercolor? Oh, I started watercolor about 30 years ago. Um, I had been teaching in an um, elementary school, um, not as a most, it started out as volunteer and then I ended up teaching first grade through high school. And, um, and that piqued my interest back to art again because I had put that aside while I was raising my kids. I was creative but not with actual painting. And so I started with a, just a neighbor who was giving classes in community education and I just fell in love with watercolor. It's such a spontaneous uh, medium and I've really just kept going and kept learning and growing and taking classes and now I've been teaching for over 15 years teaching watercolor. So it's very gratifying, very um, relaxing, challenging, many things. I never gravitated towards watercolor when I was doing my art classes because mm -hmm. I just found it difficult. Mm. So how do you... You know, it's lots of practice. You, you just can't sit down and do a couple paintings and think that you've arrived or that it's not for you. It takes years and you know to learn how to control the medium many people think you can't control watercolor but that is not true because if the papers dry nothing's going to move <laughs> <laughs> so you you arrange it when you're doing your work to okay this area I want to remain white so you just leave it dry and you go around it and you save your whites which is very important in watercolor, transparent watercolor especially. Do you remember the first piece that you did? The first watercolor? <coughs> yes, probably. And um, of course, I had some success. And of course, my family were all recipients of these wonderful artworks. But my first painting, I was 12 and I did an oil painting. And it was probably very hideous, but oh, I just got so much joy out of that. <laughs> what was the first piece that you did that you were really proud of that you, you didn't sell? <laughs> that, um, uh, probably um, I did a watercolor uh, in a class um, and we all were working on something different and uh, it reminded me, it was a, a large full sheet, and uh, now the name of the artist escapes me, um, but it reminded me of her work, and, um, and it, you know, I was very satisfied. It was the first piece I ever entered in a show, and, um, and eventually I did sell that. But I didn't win a prize, but for me, just getting into the show is a feat. <laughs> Do you have a favorite artist? You know, there's so many. I, I, um, I can't say that um, I can just choose one. Uh, many of our local artists in this area, um, just fabulous. Um, I've taken classes from so many. And right now, right now, today, my favorite is Fabio uh, Cremolini, and I'll be taking his class in September <laughs> for a week. <laughs> and now you have a gallery in Scandia, yes. um, mm -hmm. Countryside Arts Gallery, mm -hmm. and that just opened recently here. Uh, didn't well, it? I've been there for 10, well, oh. actually, I opened, um, I had a art studio where I invited many artists come in to teach and we had regular classes weekly and uh, I did that for five years and then I decided it was more work so then my husband built me my studio at, at our our property 
and so I've been there 10 years now so it's very lovely to have artists come in and paint with me and uh, we grow together and I'm teaching some of them and others we just critique each other and so on well, we are very excited to have you at our open house and to be our artist in residence and doing your demo. Um, the art show will be going on in February. Um, applications are available now. And the open house will be on February Sunday, February 22nd. So I hope you all can come in. Um, it starts at 2 o'clock. And enjoy what the community has done for art. Thanks, Mary Jo. Thank you very much for asking.